So here we have the Jaguar XE on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area of it, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space available in there as well. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. Now that we've done a full circle though, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. Uh, in the center, you can see we have the speedometer, the total miles for the car, which is 70,824. We've also got a digital readout for the speedometer in that section as well. Over to the right-hand side, the fuel gauge, the coolant temperature gauge, and it will show you what gear this car is in. It's an automatic, uh, so of course we are uh, currently in park. If we back out to the steering wheel next, uh, over on the left-hand side, we have controls uh, for stereo, phone, and on the right-hand side, we have the cruise control and speed limiter for the car. Behind the steering wheel, the minus and plus pedal, so that you can change up and down the gear manually with this automatic gearbox. And over into the center, the main touch screen for the car, which includes uh, climate control settings. You have physical controls for these as well, which we'll come to in just a moment. The main uh, options are down the bottom here. You can come back to the home screen. You can go back a page. We're on the home screen when this is the view you have. From there, you can either select any of these boxes, or again, you can use the labeling down here. So satellite navigation, phone, your music, heated seats. Uh, so navigation, really nice, clear color display, uh, as you can see, uh, extra wide, all touch screen, so you can kind of zoom in and zoom out as you'd be used to doing on a phone. Uh, you, speaking of phone, can of course, pair your device up so that you can make and receive phone calls as well as streaming, streaming your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. We've also, of course, got the radio, uh, this car's got DAB, FM and AM radio available. I mentioned the uh, seat controls. Uh, you can, say, control the driver and passenger seats from here. This car also has a full color reversing camera with guidelines that show you what direction the car is headed in in relation to the image shown on the screen. Below that, we have the dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger temperature, driver temperature, so you can go up and down from here. Same over on the passenger side. Fan speed up and down. You can determine the direction of the air and you can of course use the screen to do that as well. Your seat controls are here as well as on the screen. That turns your air conditioning off, back on again or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for, which you can hear it doing by taking control of the fan speed and direction of the air. You can override that manually whenever you wish to. We have the main volume for the stereo just here, the start and stop button for the engine, the dial that is essentially the gear lever for the car, so reverse, neutral, drive and sport. When you switch the engine off, this will lower down so that it sits flush to this central console area. You can turn off the stop and start and you can also change the driving setup of the car. Normal, track, eco and ice or snow. And you can turn your traction control off from here as well. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.